Hi guys. Uh, I've always wanted to do one of those uh, crazy shocked uh, faces. Um, if you watch other reactors, they always have that uh, thumbnail where they are absolutely shocked at what they've just witnessed. And uh, uh, I've always wanted one, but I'm, I'm not uh, dedicated enough to take a picture, edit it, uh, put some graphics on, put music on. That's just not me. That's not uh, what I'm about. Uh, but uh, here is my my official shocked uh, thumbnail. Um, it's for me. Uh, it's fascinating to watch other reactors and uh, how they how they evolve and and. and uh, It's a lot of people I think are taking it the wrong way um, because um, YouTube reactors are not just really content creators. We are, we, I am one too. Um, we're just a voice, we're an opinion. We are not the main course, we're not uh, the main event. We are, you know, just one voice. Uh, one opinion and I think people take it too far uh, so far as to uh, go on, go to Patreon ask for money just to hear their opinion uh, to me Patreon is like the online version of pen handling on the street uh, asking for money and it, it really doesn't sit well with me um, when people do that, it's just uh, it's it's not tasteful. It's it's the wrong thing to do. Um, same thing goes for m merch sales. Um, I don't know anybody who would uh, buy merchandise of their reactor, their favorite reactor, because that's uh, unless it looked good and you do you're doing it for fashion reasons, but. Uh, People who actually think they can move a lot of merch um, as a reactor, they need, they really need to shake their head. Um, you know, it, you can't get famous being a reactor. I mean, I mean, I guess you can, but that shouldn't be your objective. You, you should enjoy the moment. You should enjoy the interaction. The communication you have and the new connections you've made, um, and and people who try to make this a job, or it just doesn't uh, sit well with me. Uh, neither does uh, pausing every ten seconds to get around the um, the copyright uh, detection. It's just. Uh, YouTube made a copyright detection system, so. Um, the people who actually made that music would get paid. For ex for instance, I am re going to react to "Make It Right" featuring Love. Um, and if I don't pause every ten seconds or so, um, and I just play it straight, uh, YouTube will automatically uh, detect it as a song owned by BTS. So all the money, all the revenue from this uh, video is going to go to BTS, the rightful owner of the music video. But many times people try to get, go around it by pausing every 10 seconds. Um, even though there's no need to actually make a comment, they are trying to monetize it. Um, and uh, not get caught by YouTube. So they, whatever views uh, they have, they can get the uh, ad revenue. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. People take it too far. Get a job. Seriously, just get a job and do this for fun. <sighs> um, uh, sometimes I'm just too honest and too blunt. I just. 
blurted that out and get a job. Like, it's not something I was expecting to say, but it just comes out. Anyways, we're doing、uh, BTS Make It Right featuring Love.、Uh, it's a song I really, really liked.、Um, it's a song that I thought was very suitable for the Western、uh, pop world. Uh, production was top notch,、uh, melody was great, the instruments were amazing, very Ed Sheeran. And、uh, I'm surprised that it's coming back because、um, it was a wonderful version、uh, as it was. But、uh, Love is a very,、uh, very, very、uh, popular artist right now、um, who has a very, very colorful、uh, voice. And I like it.、Uh, he, he has a very good vocal range.、Um, very right now.、Um, so I'm expecting him to、uh, spice things up. And we will jump in now. Wait.、Uh, for your information, FYI, I may or, not, may or may not be wearing pants. At this moment, it's like、uh, two over past、uh, 2 a.m., and I just、uh, don't have the energy to put on clothes right now. Just throwing that out there right now. Yeah, I'm too honest. I shouldn't have said that. Army bombs. Army time. Okay, stop right there for a sec. <sighs> you know, the first time around when I listen to a song during a reaction, I always try to maintain a poker face so I don't give away、uh, my initial feelings because,、uh, you know, I'm someone who, you know,、uh, You can tell what I'm thinking just by my expressions. You can tell what I'm happy, mad, sad, angry, you know, excited. It just, it just comes out in my,、uh, my facial expression. So I make an effort to uh, not uh, show much emotion during the first、uh, go around. But、uh, I will tell you, I absolutely love this version.、Um, The vocals are very good. I, I'm, I'm sure that the.、Uh, the original version was, it, it was, was good, but.、Uh, he, he just has this. A very colorful uh, uh, voice. Um, it's very,、uh, I don't know, youthful, I guess. And.、Uh, I, 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 I really do like、uh, Love's voice.、Um, 
The main difference between this and the original is the actual recording quality of the vocals. Um, not the oh, the uh, recording quality. I guess uh, there was a uh, overuse of uh, auto tuning uh, used in the original um, during the first verse. Uh, the first verse was uh, V and Jimin, and a lot of it was. Uh, I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't like major major, but. Um, to an extent, their voices sounded robotic, um, and um, that was my probably my biggest gripe. But even that was very minor. But uh, I think Love's uh, verse um, took care of that actually, because um, you can his recording retains the uh, his essence. Um, um, Whereas uh, V and Jimin's, it, it was it was perfect, but it was missing a lot of the human uh, element, and um, <clears throat> actually we we can just uh, play theirs right now um, and just uh, show you what I'm talking about. It's starting right now. You can hear that robotic voice uh, that I'm talking about, right? I mean, it's perfect. It's on pitch. It sounds good, but it's it's a tad robotic. And it's a uh, it's actually slightly uh, uh, exaggerating the the highs. Of, of their voices, um, the extreme highs, uh, the frequencies. Um, it, it's a. It's not suitable, I guess, uh, for this kind of song. This kind of song is very uh, organic and and. Um, Organic yet upbeat, I guess, is the right way to uh, express it. Um, but this kind of um, vocal processing was probably would probably be more appropriate for a very EDM uh, song. Um, but I think this song you really need to retain uh, as much as you can of the human uh, elements human elements the the humanness of of, 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 of their voice uh, and I think some of it was lost there but uh, I mean even having said that it, it's still a very minor gripe uh, it's very pleasant to listen to uh, still so uh, I mean I did give it the the original a grade of uh, 97 I believe so um, a very, very minor, right? And um, we are just gonna go listen to it one more time. <clears throat> the the vocal layering, the harmonization that he did here was very, very well done as well. Oh my god. 
Listen to the harmonization right there. The music video is cute too. So the second verse was uh, untouched, but um, yeah, uh, uh, love was a very uh, refreshing uh, addition to the song. Uh, I liked it. Uh, the grade, you know, more or less stays unchanged. Um, <clears throat> I guess having him uh, in the song would just give it more awareness in the Western world, um, and it's. Uh, Certainly suitable for the suitable for the markets here. It's an excellent song. Uh, any way you cut it, this is excellent, excellent. Uh, I do want to say one other thing, uh, one other very important thing. Uh, this song, uh, Chicken Noodle Soup, The Calcomania, Brand New Day. Um, the songs that they've been releasing uh, recently have been just of amazing quality. Um, there is a big difference between the songs that they put out most recently and the ones that they put out, uh, you know, two three years ago, uh, and you can see their the evolution and, and growth in this in this group you know they are three years ago they were a k-pop group singing in the western world you know trying to break it in trying to break into the western uh music world they are now currently a world pop star 
who happen to be Korean. Um, and it's a very, very different uh, place uh, to be. Um, and their music is a reflection of that. They are not making uh, your, your standard K-pop music anymore. These songs are world-class quality now. Um, Chicken Noodle Soup was an absolute banger. Uh, Decalcomania is... I anticipate gonna be a huge success. I love that song. Uh, Make it right right now. This song has no problem being on on, on the radio in, in the U.S. right now. There's, uh, if I was just someone who did not know who BTS was and I heard that song on the radio, I would, I would love that song. Um. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are listening to it and enjoying it as well, who have no idea what K-pop is or who, who BTS is. Um, and that's a reflection of, of where, how far they've come. Uh, the growth and the continued evolution of this group is, is amazing to see. Uh, and... Um, I think I think this year, this upcoming year, is going to be a great one. They are on absolute tear right now. Uh, they are on fire with their releases. They 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 are putting out consistently putting out quality releases, and um, I hope uh, other K-pop uh, groups are able to. Uh, realize what they're doing and and take notice Um, because bts is doing it the absolute right way they are doing it correctly they absolutely are and they are certainly um at the pinnacle of the korean music world and the world pop music world Um, and they certainly deserve it uh, I think that's it right now. Um, when is Decalcomania coming out? Because I really want to hear that. Um, I think that's it. I may or may not uh, go put pants on now. Bye, guys. <laughs>